Hi guys, in today's video we're going to talk about the distance that your bass drum pedal moves or that your beater swings on the backswing at various tempos um, for a given dynamic level. Now I'm going to play through 150, 165, 180, 195 and I think 210 and you're going to notice probably, I would hope, that my beater movement distance from the head doesn't change all that much. Um, I am consciously trying to keep it the same. And the reason for that is because I want the same dynamic level through all the different speeds. Um, a lot of people think that it's okay to get smaller as they go faster and bigger as they go slower, but this makes you loud when you're slow and quiet when you're fast, and that doesn't always make sense. So you should be able to basically play any speed or any beat denomination and not change the amount of backswing that you get. And I, of course, advocate for a large backswing all of the time so that you get a good sound and that your uh, hits are even and that your technique is correct and good. I think you can see where this is going. Uh, basically, as I approach my maximum speed, I maintain almost all of my backswing. And no, the backswing isn't preventing me from going faster than like 220 or 230 or whatever. It's just that I can't go any faster with any size swing. I'm just not that fast. Okay, so obviously there's some variation in my technique between the different speeds, but I'm really still trying to get a huge beater motion and thus my volume for the kicks for my different speeds stays the same. And this will make you sound like you're a better drummer. It will make your band sound better, your live playing more even. If you use triggers, eh, this doesn't matter, but then you sound like you're using triggers, which is a different problem. Okay, so if you've got questions, let me know, but thanks for watching. Um, on a side note, not drum related, I just released a book on archaeology, so if you're into that kind of thing, it's about uh, the sort of paleo Indians, if you will, or the Pueblo peoples of the Southwest in the region where I live. And um, and you can check it out. I'll probably put a link to it. And I also have drum-related books. So if you want to support the channel, buy a book of some sort. Thanks.